there once again, people. It's that time again. What time is it? It's time for another episode of Seeking Shamblers. So, this time around, we're going to be checking a level made um, on August 28th of 1996. This level was known as High Dive. Um, th that's actually an interesting name because we already have a level called High Dive um, made for Aftershock. It was basically one of the standalone levels, so it could have been a shovelware level, most likely was. Um, it was called High Dive. But the interesting thing is that one had a name in the name middle of the level. This one does not. So that makes me question, is this the same level? Or is this a level that has the exact same name, but is it the same? Well, I guess when we load it up, I'll be able to figure out if it is the same or not. Anyway! This one actually was made by three people? <laughs> yeah, by Hans, Stig, and Michael. What useful, useful names to have for the Wikia. Yeah, you, you're gonna have a lot of use when you have three, only one name names. Anyway, he has a website address to be built sometime in the future. Anyway, High Dive is a medium-sized deathmatch arena. This is the first map we ever made and it's not that bad, and hopefully not the last. Others will be better. It has six deathmatch starts, and no exit. Basically, it's your normal deathmatch map, nothing really fancy. Basically, one complex room, so it runs kind of slow on some machines. It's fast enough, though. Um, that's useful to know, because High Dive, the other version we know, was also one room, so that... Once again, tells me it's in that direction, and it was indeed a multiplayer map. So, um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me about that. Anyway, the interesting thing is, um, this is not made for any more than really six players at all, since it's like the maximum if you want to have that. And, yeah, it's basically made for Quake Registered 1.0 or higher, and it's made using Quest. So, needless to say, nothing really fancy, it's your... Generic shovelware level of 1990 sets. Yeah, really nothing fancy here. He also used something called Ultra Edit. I think Ultra Edit is a DOS-based text editor, if I'm correct. I don't think it's anything Quake-related specific. I think it's just um, a little text editor. Yeah, it was a commercial text editor. Existed back in the 90s. Nothing fancy. Anyway, it took him about like 25 hours to make and... Build time minutes. About two hours for a QBSP Viz and Light. You can see they clear out minutes from the template. On a P100 you running Win95. Known bugs? None that we know of. If you notice any, please email. So anyway, uh... Yeah, any derivative works or anything like that may not be sold or be distributed for profit anyway without express for permission. You may do whatever, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. There's lots of illegal stuff that we don't really care about, which takes up over half the documentation. Let's get to the freaking level. Ah, levels. They are exciting and don't involve reading copyright, which I, for one, personally hate. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dive. Hi, Dave Dive. This is amazing. That, that right there is art, people. Look at that error message. Look at that glorious error message. Um, I'm thinking I still have a modification. I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, there. This is one of the most corrupt levels I've found yet in Quake. No. Th this is how the game starts. That's interesting to say the least. Yeah, this is an unmodded game, people. It's Stripper, but I don't have any mods currently installed. So, this is the mo map. This is the map. You, you wanted a map, people. I gave you a map. <laughs> Why in God's name is this? This is the most broken level we have run across yet. This, this is quick history, people. Look at this. Now, I'm thinking, I'm hoping, it's because, de is Deathmatch 1? No, Deathmatch is even 1! Deathmatch is 0! It's supposed to work! Every map would work! A Q2 map would work like this! You could play a freaking Q2 map in, in these settings! You know what, I'm gonna load in a Q2 map, 
just to make sure we can actually load in maps that it's not like me that's the problem because this is driving me crazy this is insane if it's true if, if this is possible this is the most like i said this is the most broken map we've run across yet i mean we found a map whereby it crashes a few seconds after we start it and that wasn't as bad as this that at least loaded something this is horrible this is really horrible if this is true. I mean, talk about not testing your level. And to the point that it doesn't even work at all. <laughs> I mean, this is DOS based Quake. This is the version of Quake that would be the most compatible with this thing. Um, outside of, unless it's like a 1.01 feature thing. I, I guess maybe that could be it because this is 1.06. It was made for 1.01. So let's see here. Alert. You load up alert. There's alert. Huh. Okay, you load up, what's it called? Uh, high dive. And you get error. Now, one thing I do know about is that there is a converter for high, um, not high dive in general, but there is a converter for shovelware based maps. Let's see here, where is it? Cuver, that's it. I haven't had to use Cuver in a while. I, I think I used it for basic castle, four level shaft. There were a couple that I actually needed to use it on. I don't think it used this error though. I don't recall this error at all. So that kind of scares me. <laughs> but I'm going to assume, and you guys are coming along for the journey on the most broken level possibly yet. I'm gonna try and see if I can fix this level. We're gonna hope for the best. So let's see here. I'm going to, what's it called, Qfer? Yeah, I'm going to do Qver High Dive, and we're going to see what version it is. High Dive is currently set to register in version 29. So that's the version we want. So it's not that. The BSP is currently correct. Yeah, which makes sense because this was made in freaking August. This wasn't made in obscure period of time. It's not one of the first Quake levels ever made and like highly obscure broken. It was made in freaking August! It should work perfectly fine! Um, yeah, like I said, the only thing I could think of is that somehow this is a version-specific thing. Conveniently, I happen to have 1.01 .01 lying somewhere around here. I'm, I'm curious though, I'm not sure if 1.01 no, .01 had to have been able to work with, um, levels. I just generally don't use it because why use that when you have 1.06? But I'm going to use a 1.01 .01 save. Um, let's see here. Quake 101. I'll call it that. That will be my um, loaded thing. Create a map folder in here. And going to create just a basic maps directory. Nothing fancy whatsoever. We're keeping this as simple and as basic as possible. With the sole goal of getting this map working. That right now is all I care about, is getting this freaking map working. If this does work, this will possibly be the first case of a um, patch actually breaking something. I would be curious if that happens, but I doubt that's the case. I really think this is going to be a case of it just not working in general, which really is not good. That, that's not good at all. See, so yeah, I'm going to kill the game stripper, as that's otherwise going to be incompatible. Um... Quake 101. I think that's basically about it. Yeah, I don't think there's much I really need to do that's fancy. Um, so I'm going to load up this. This is Quake 1.01. .01. There we are. Turn off the music. And yeah, if you notice, the gamma is really cranked on this version. And my invert mouse is like highly warped. But yeah, this is 1.01. .01. I'm not able to run really at all but yeah one touch zero one which is all i cared about okay map high dive brilliant look at that people look at freaking that what is this what is this and why is this broken is there like a server error in select spawn point put client and server no um, maybe it's a single player start that's the issue. I, I know it's a stupid thing. I've never heard of um, a level that's had an issue with a single player start. 
Um, usually single player starts are all that work, and deathmatch starts are ones that are, you know, may or may not work. But maybe this level is perhaps the first case ever of a single player start being the issue. That would be interesting. Um, hey, I'm trying anything at this point. High dive. There we are! Look at that! You need to play this map in deathmatch, people! If you play it in single player, it does not work! That's interesting! This is the first map I have ever played which you have to play in deathmatch for it to work. That's very interesting to say the least. That is how unstable this map is. But yeah, it works in 1.0 sets. You just have to, by default, play it in deathmatch. You single player does not work in any shape or form, unlike every other version out there. Okay, so this is a totally different high dive from the other high dive I know. The other high dive looks nothing like this one. Plus it does have the issues this one did. So, um, yeah, I got a double barreled shotgun apparently from this pitch black area that I can't even see the guns. Oh look, red armor in the fire of death. Is that lava? Yes it is, it hurts. Lava hurts, that's the lesson of the day, people. Now, um, I can't see anything. There might be a gun here, who knows? People might haphazardly throw anything anywhere in these levels. Who in God's name knows with these people? I mean, the single player isn't even working. Who has a single player spawn point that doesn't even work right? But yeah, we have little ridges here. We have little random stuff here. Is this a wind tunnel? No, it's an elevator, I think. A little random slope that leads up to an upper floor. See, you can climb up on the slope. You can climb down the slope. You can look around. What amazing features that only this level has. Okay, so as you can see, you can kind of look just under the water and see some health. So apparently this is kind of like the healing pool, except more lame. And uh, that's about that. What's in this one? More water? Well, there's more water, but is there anything else? Well, there's some ammo. That's not exactly what I was looking for when I decided to dive into a pool of water. But, um, sure, let's get some ammo. That was about that. Wait, there's two of them? Yeah, where's this one? Oh, look, the pentagram. Who would guess we'd find the pentagram in the water? Yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. I figured I'd find a thunderbolt in the water. A pentagram randomly in there? Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Quick, to the lava pit! I know what I gotta do. I must dive into the lava pit and see if there's anything in it. No, this was a waste of time. Okay. Had to figure it out. Had to, like, actually try it out see what it was in there. Uh. We were going on part on the ranger's outpost. We wanted to see what was on the yogi's outpost or whatever. Mr. Ranger has found his quad damage to kill everything. Mr. Ranger is really ticked off at Yogi today, and he's going to violently murder him. It seems to be a ledge that goes alongside to the house. I'm assuming that's a house? Might not be a house. Who knows? I may have violated house housing lease rights by calling it a house. Uh, there's nothing really here. There's a... Rocket launcher up there. How do you get up there? Now I know how one gets up there. That's the best gun in the game. I won up there. Obviously, that is where we want to go. The question is, how does one get to said location? That is the mystery. The mystery of life. Okay, we got on top of this platform. Oh, God, wait. I should have got off the platform, but of course I didn't. We're back up here trying to figure out how one gets way over there. See that way in the distance, that little tiny pinprick? Yeah, we're trying to get over there. Yeah, of course, because we're in a tiny resolution, it's even more horrible to see over there. But, uh, house. Roadhouse. Oops, it is. He fell off the house. But luckily, we can climb back on the house. This is an amazing level. Doesn't even have a name. Okay, so uh, I got a grenade launcher. I found some buildings. They weren't exactly hard to find, but I'm still proud of finding them. You know, I see a little ledge there. That's interesting. Note, 
Um, this leads to here. Which leads to this building. So I'm assuming if you could get to the roof of the building, maybe through this one, you can climb up there, climb across and get to that. I'm assuming that's how it works. Don't quote me on that. It might not work like that at all. Let's see here. Health. We need more ammo. Also, there doesn't seem to be a way into this building from up here. You, like, need to go through that little tiny roof slit. Yeah, so we need to, like, go around and go up and around and... Where are you coming this side? Okay, where are we? Where for the love of God are we? I have no idea! We're in some water filled building thing! Look! Water! In midair! Darkness everywhere! I can't see what I'm doing! So I found a little hidden area with a little random garbage that nobody cares about. I'm glad I took you along for this journey. Okay, let's get out of here because we need to get to more important things. Like, um... That rocket launcher for sure. That rocket launcher is my quest object. I must find a way to achieve my quest. This is suddenly an RPG and that is my quest object. That stupid floating rocket launcher. And I'm pretty sure my idea is correct. That we're heading in the right direction. Oh look, the super nail gun. Totally in a dark platform. Thank God for my ability to wander around everywhere. Otherwise, I wouldn't see this stuff at all. Um, I'm assuming this is a shareware based level. Just based on the fact that I haven't found any cells whatsoever. Thank you, I can't say that because I got red armor. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're just not getting the Thunderbolt. Okay, it's not that easy as jumping across. At least not a simple, um, walk and jump. No, you have to, like, be running and jumping. Running and jumping, people! The slightly more convoluted way of doing this. Let's see here. Bonsai! There we are! Now you can see this is the yellow armor! The armor between the green... ...and the red. Okay, jump here. We get the rocket launcher. And now we question what we do with our life. Because we kind of achieved the one thing that really I needed to do in this level. Which was get that rocket launcher. So, um... Yeah! Another multiplayer level. Yet another one! Because we can't seem to get enough of these. These are getting really old, aren't they? Yeah, but... Well... I'm cursed to do them, so here you are. Anyway! Um... Rather interesting thing, like I said, about this level is how broken it was in single player. Like I said, every level we've played, no matter what it has been, has worked in single player mode. That's always been like a fallback emergency thing. It may not work in deathmatch. Hey, there's plenty of single player le um, the single uh, plenty of multiplayer levels out there made for multiplayer that don't even work in multiplayer. They only work in single player. This one is, oddly enough, exactly the opposite. Now, in this case, this one isn't such a bad thing because it's a multiplayer map. So what are you going to play in? Multiplayer. What does it work in? Multiplayer. So really, the only real use for single player is if you wander around and, like, want to look at things um, and see, like, the geometry. So I can kind of understand not having, like, support for single player, but... It's just a weird thing to not have support for single player when it's almost a staple of every Quake level. No matter if it's a test level, no matter if it's a random deathmatch level, every single Q2 level, Dark Hour level, Aftershock level, Aftershock Toolbox level, you name it, has had single player support. That's not like the one rule of almost every Quake level. To say this so blatantly breaking it, it's just very interesting. It, it, it definitely goes to show nothing is sacred and everything you love will be destroyed. Anyway, I think I'm done here. Thank you all for watching. I have a lot of fun to do with trying to figure out what I'm doing with this other high dive that conflicts with the first high dive. I'm trying to figure out what exactly that high dive is. In fact, I didn't have any documentation either, did it? I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm done here. There's not much more to say. Thank you all for watching. I guess I'll see you all, hopefully, in a single player level. Please. We can't have this much multiplayer content in a row. It gets old when there's nothing really to do. So, hopefully, next time is a single player thing. I hope.
You never know with shovelware. See you all then.